Now, the UK economy will get worse before it gets better, so said Chancellor Jeremy Hunt this morning. It follows signs of Britain heading into recession. Now, despite data from the Office for National Statistics showing the economy growing actually by 0.5% for the month September to October, uh, economists putting that down to temporary burst in spending with uh, the holiday uh, bank weekend uh, or, or the uh, extra one that we had, of course, because of the Queen's funeral. Uh, but we are still heading for a quarter of um, negative growth. Let's get more analysis with Liam Halligan, our economics and business editor with uh, On The Money. Uh, no music this time, but there we are. Um, <laughs> we, we make our we, own we, music. We, we, yeah, exactly. Uh, is it pretty music at the moment? Because it's sort of good and bad, isn't it? Jeremy Hunt is right. The Chancellor's saying the economy is in for a tough time. There's a little bit of good news out of the Office of National Statistics data, though, that came out this morning. And I've got a graphic here that can spell it out because it might be a little bit confusing. So, yeah, yeah. so let me explain, Mark. So it is in October, if we can go to the graphic, that GDP, that's the sum total of all the all the transactions in the economy, was up 0.5% compared to the month before, compared to September. But that was largely, Mark, because in September, GDP was lower because of that bank holiday. There may have been a bit of extra spending, but there was a lot less production. So yeah. overall, the bank holiday actually took away from GDP in September, which made the October number look good in relative terms. But the much more important statistic is there at the bottom of the screen between August and October compared to the August to October, the so-called third quarter of the year in 2021, GDP actually fell overall by 0.3%. And if we look on the next graphic, that suggests that recession is looming. Recession is when you have two successive quarters yep. of GDP falling. The Bank of England now is predicting that in the final quarter of 2022, that's obviously October, November, December, this is a prediction, GDP will fall by 0.3% again. There's your recession, those two successive quarters of negative growth. It's not just a British thing at all. America, the world's biggest economy, has been in recession for several months. Yeah. But the Bank of England is suggesting we could stay in recession the economy contracting for some time. Yeah, although it, it's going to be long, they say, but perhaps not that deep. And are there any signs in that monthly figure where it actually ticked up with that bank holiday that certain sectors of the economy perhaps are rather more robust than we thought they may be? Industrial production is holding up despite ongoing supply chain difficulties mm. that we had as a result of lockdown. They still haven't totally... Um, uh, the, the world economy hasn't properly rebooted. Yeah. Manufacturing was uh, at its lowest point of any since the depths of lockdown mm. mid 2020 there are a few there are signs that that's recovering as well retail sales aren't doing badly they're up in money terms in terms of volume uh, but everything's actually, costing a lot more of course everything's yeah. costing a yeah. lot more so there are signs of life certainly unemployment remains quite low in this country yeah. Yeah. we're kind of middle of the pack there's a lot of doom and gloom but compared to all the other big economies in the western world in particular we're not doing too it's sort of still ticking the along. The big danger, yeah. in my view, is the ongoing price of fuel, not just because of this cold snap, but more structurally, oil and gas prices. Yeah, and where are we? Because you've written about this in The Telegraph, with, with, with China being actually pivotal to mm. this. And, and, and clearly we saw the pump prices fall at the, at the forecourts and people think, oh, it's going to get a little bit bad. Oil started ticking back up again. Now, what's going on in the You'd international market? You ordinarily think, Mark, that when the world economy slows, the yep. demand for oil slows, the price of oil comes down. There are two reasons why it's not coming down all that much. It's still quite pricey, mm -hmm. around 80, $85 a barrel on some definitions. Two reasons. The first reason is because while the world economy is slowing down, China's actually going to have a little growth spurt because it's easing some of those zero COVID lockdown restrictions. So a lot of Chinese factories are firing back up right. and they use lots of energy. It's the world's biggest oil importer. Yeah. The other reason why oil prices are staying firm, Mark, is because of something called OPEC. Plus, that's the oil exporters cartel, plus Russia. They, these countries export vast amounts of oil. They don't want to see oil prices fall, so they deliberately restrict their own supply right. in order to keep demand Artificially tight. high, yeah. They've been doing it for years. Mm. They're doing it again now. And it's interesting that despite the war in Ukraine, here in the UK and the US, a lot of countries don't see the world the way that we do. And America's angry with the likes of the Saudis and other OPEC members for restricting oil supply yeah. now when they need uh, cheaper oil to get the Western world yeah. out of recession. And Joe Biden's appeals falling on deaf ears at the moment, it seems. Uh, as ever, thank you for that analysis.